Hi, my name is Ray. Welcome back to the Radio Workshop. This is a Cossa Melody Maker 501 AC, so it's got a mains transformer and um, belongs to a customer. This is the state it's coming, is the uh, <coughs> there's the scutcheon that goes on the front. That's come off, that's hanging off. The speaker cloth is uh, torn. The cabinet's in a terrible state. Uh, but it sort of works. I say sort of. So that's a, a bit of a result. Uh, the cabinet's pretty bad. It's not cracked or chipped. Um, has some stickers on it, and this isn't damaged. It's just where something's been stuck to it. So, uh, as I say, it's actually working now. Um, inside isn't too bad. The back panel is in one piece. So. This is going to be a restoration project, starting from, goodness me, from scratch. That will keep me busy for a while. Bits hanging off it, as I say, not cracked or damaged, and um, yes, well, well, there we are. It sort of works. So, where do we start? I think first of all take the chassis out of the cabinet. Fortunately the knobs came off without any trouble. Very often they can get stuck on the shafts and then you're in, in problems. So let's take the chassis out of the Bakelite cabinet carefully. By the way this speaker will probably need replacing. I noticed when uh, the radio was on earlier it was rattling like mad. What I have to do with the cabinet now is um, the sticking plasters here someone's put on as labels. They leave a terrible mess on the bake light. That'll have to be obviously the cloth removed, the speaker removed. And the whole cabinet will have to be soaked in warm uh, soapy water to get that mess off. So this is the chassis. There's my coffee. Uh, as usual, wax capacitors will all have to be replaced there. Someone's added some wiring at some stage in its life. <laughs> there we are. Um, first job to do will be clean all the dust off. Decades of dust. The glass is nice, that's in one piece. The dial drive cord looks good. I shall check that for fraying later because we um, don't want that breaking once it's all done. So, there we are. Next job is to clean the chassis up and get the cabinet into warm soapy water. Right, now I've got to the stage where I've removed the speaker and the baffle board from the cabinet. That wants a new grill cloth on it. Um, the cabinet itself is now completely empty. I've washed it. Um, <coughs> dealt with some of the, the scratches, got the stickers off. Uh, it's now, now needs a, a good polish. But uh, basically the cabinet is <clears throat> it's all, all cleaned, all the old stickers and bits of plaster taken off it, all the paint spots gone. So that's that. The chassis, um, there we are. This was great fun. Dial drive cord. I did check the, uh, the cord on there and it was badly frayed and in fact it broke while I was tuning in a station. So it's had new cord, it's, it's actually on now, the radio is working. We are new drive cord, which, uh, as they often are, was a nightmare, absolute nightmare. Funnily enough, the dial drive cords that look as if they're going to be fairly straightforward, perhaps spindle, a couple of pulleys, and the drum, they are the ones that are a real pain. Uh, I find anyway. The complicated ones, where there are spindles, pulleys, uh, counter shaft pulleys, and goodness knows what. Uh, I don't know, I seem to be able to do those, <laughs> no problem at all. <laughs> Should be the other way around. So that's the update, cleaned up, um, dial drive cord done, controls cleaned. Uh, still haven't done the capacitors, that I think uh, will be one of the next jobs. Try to get the cabinet um, out of the way. So, uh, new speaker cloth, cabinet back together, that's probably the next job. Right, I have now polished the cabinet, fitted the, the trim here, 
speaker cloth, uh, a bit nearer. You might be have a, a better look at that. There's the new speaker cloth and uh, the trim round there. The cabinet's getting quite a shine now. Uh, found a speaker in that. Second hand speaker, which is a good one. Uh, cabinet's looking really good. So, very pleased with that. That, uh, that trim went round there nicely. Not easy, very time consuming. Um, <clears throat> restoring vintage radios is, is time consuming and it can't be rushed. Uh, so there we are. I haven't uh, done the capacitors on the chassis yet. I've just been working on the cabinet. I want to get this finished out of the way and on the shelf ready for when the chassis is done. I've cleaned up the, uh, the knobs. They just need a bit of polish. They were covered in bits of sticky tape and goodness knows what. Uh, the speaker grill cloth, um, I didn't show that on the video. Uh, two reasons. One, it takes too long. The main reason is uh, trade secrets. It's, it's quite a knack, quite an art actually, getting this cloth taut over the, uh, the baffle board. And uh, I'm not going to give my trade secrets away. There we are. It took me a lot of, uh, a lot of years and a lot of experience to get that nice. So that's that. That little bar there, I sprayed that black, just a, a nice finishing touch. It's going to look really good when the the dials here with the uh, with the you know the station names all lit up, and it's going to look really nice. So that's the cabinet about done. I will when it's all back together. I will give it a final polish. I use a good. Uh, expensive uh, beeswax polish for the final for the final uh, shine up there so that's the cabinet done the next thing will be the back to the that's going on the shelf in a minute not on the floor um, we're back to the chassis that's the old speaker by the way great shame uh, looks nice but um, it's rubbing on the yeah the, the coil in there is rubbing on the magnet um, I won't throw it away because I might be able to do something with that at some later stage. So we're back to the chassis, which is still working. And uh, my dial drive cord hasn't snapped yet. <laughs> it won't snap actually. Um, this, although this video is fairly brief, I actually spent oh, the best part of two hours on that cabinet. Uh, yes, it was the time. A good two hours on the cabinet alone. Um, so, it, as I say, it is time consuming. Okay, we're back to the chassis. And uh, change all the coupling and decoupling capacitors. Uh, before I get on with the capacitors, um, I think this video is long enough, so I'm going to have to do part two. Hope you've enjoyed part one. Have a look for part two, come back in that and uh, get all the chassis finished and the radio back together ready for the customer.